All right, hi everyone, Michael here from the Developer Engagement Team. And today, I'm gonna to show you how you can build a notification service with our Python SDK to listen to membership changes on a particular queue in Genesis Cloud. So with our notification service, you can view Genesis Cloud status updates on topics such as user status changes, document uploads, or incoming calls. And there's lots of different available topics, but what we're gonna do is listen for notification events that are raised when the membership of a queue changes or when somebody joins or leaves a queue. And there's three steps involved if you want to do something like this. The first step is to create the notifications channel. Step two is to subscribe to a topic. And the final step, step three, is to listen for notifications by opening a WebSocket connection to the notifications channel. All right, so let's have a look at some of the documentation. Okay, so if you need to find some information on using the notification service, you can find that here. So this lists some detailed explanations on how to use the notification service. And also here's the notifications API. So we'll be using two methods from the notifications API. One to create a channel, the post notifications channels method, and one to subscribe to a topic the put notifications channel subscriptions method. And here's a list of available topics. So as you can see, there's a lot of available topics, but what we're subscribing to is the routing.queues.id.users topic. So this will allow us to listen for membership changes on a queue. So with that said, let's have a look at the steps in more detail. As a prerequisite for this example, you will need your queue ID. But step one for using the notification service is to create a notifications channel. And to do that with the Python SDK, we're going to call the post notifications channels method. And here you can see the corresponding endpoint. So this call will return the following response. And what we need from here is the connect URI and the channel ID, as these will be used in the next step. So step two is to subscribe to a topic and we're subscribing to the routing.queues.id.users topic so we can listen for membership changes. And to do that, we're gonna call the put notifications channel subscriptions method and pass in our channel ID and the request body. And here you can see the corresponding endpoint. So we can add one or more topics to the request body, but for this example, we're just adding one and this topic is added as a list of objects and not just a JSON object. So the final step, step three, is to open a WebSocket connection to the notifications channel. And we do that by copying in the connect URI into a WebSocket tool. So here we're using Python's WebSockets library. And just some things to note, to continuously receive notifications, you must keep the WebSocket connection open because if you don't, after you receive the first message, the connection will close. And also, each connection is limited to 1,000 topics. So let's have a look at the code. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is import the SDK client and also import some dependencies that are needed for this example. You will also need your client ID, client secret, and environment. So I just have these set as environment variables on my system. But before we make any requests, we need to authenticate. And to do that, we can just call this get client credentials token method and pass in our client ID and our client secret. So this will go ahead and get us our auth token so we can make authenticated requests. The next thing is to create an instance of the API class we want. And in our case, it's the notifications API. So we're going to call the notifications API constructor and pass in our API client and this will give us our notifications API instance. So now we can start using the notification service. And to do that, we need to create a notifications channel and here I'm passing in the notifications API instance and I'm also returning the response. So I can extract the connect URI and the channel ID as these will be used when subscribing to a topic. Then we need to subscribe to a topic and here I am passing in my QID channel ID and the API instance. And once we're subscribed to a topic, we can listen for notifications. So here I have my listen method and I'm just passing in my connect URI here. 
So let's have a look at the create notifications channels method. So to create the notifications channel, we're going to call this post notification channels method on our API instance and return the response. Once we've created our channel, we can then subscribe to a topic. So here you can see my request body is an array of objects with my topic, routing.queues.id.users. So to subscribe to this topic, we're going to call the put notifications channel subscriptions method and pass in our channel ID and the request body. So this should subscribe us to a channel. Finally, we can listen for notifications. So here I'm using Python's WebSockets library and I'm just passing in the connect URI. So you can find the documentation for this on Python's WebSockets documentation. And I'm just formatting the response nicely as JSON. So I'll show you an example of how that works. Okay, so now I'm gonna enter the name of the queue I want to find an ID for. So this will just go ahead and find my queue ID. So the queue I'm gonna be joining and leaving is called test queue. So there it is, test queue, queue ID, creating the notifications channel, subscribing to our topic, and then opening the WebSocket connection. So now we're connected and we can listen for notification events. So now I'm going to join test queue and we should see a notification raised when I join test queue. And there we go. Member count one, action add. So now I'm going to leave test queue and here you can see our heartbeat messages coming through here. So once the channel is open, these heartbeat messages will come through every once in a while. So now I'm going to leave test queue and we should see another notification raised. And there we go. Member count zero, action delete. So that's really it for this example. There's just three steps involved. Create the notifications channel, subscribe to your topic, and then listen for notifications by opening a WebSocket connection.